Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. We've previously talked about the upper half of Iron Man, including the torso, inner mechanics and the strapping system. And now it's time to work on the legs, so we're going to start with the boots and work our way up. So I previously worked on the boots in, uh, well, it was around the end of 2012, so it's been a while since I've looked at them, um, apart from painting them since then. So all of the parts originally were made in foam, and then I made silicon moulds, the same as the other pieces, and cast all the parts in polyurethane. In fact, the toe caps here are fibreglass, um, and all of these pieces are attached to a kind of metal frame that clamps your foot. So if you look back in my channel to the testing of these, you can actually see me wearing them, and these are completely self-supporting, so they hold themselves together. You can put them on like a normal boot. They've actually got um, a foamed out shoe in there with some straps. And this piece opens up. Like so. And basically clamps your shin. Now uh, this piece folds back to allow you to get the straps done up. So it looks a bit like a, a medieval torture device. Um, I'm going to basically be refining this and looking at how I can make it more comfortable because it does uh, grip on the back of the back of the lower leg there around the heel area. Um, these are on sort of spring mounts, so it's quite flexible. Basically, I need to just refine the strapping. I'm going to take away this cage and just put a flat piece on the front with straps that hold it on, so it's adjustable for different size legs and uh, basically modify the strapping. So I've got hold of some new straps, which are these, which are actually for aggressive skating, so ice skates or inline skates. And those are the type of catch that have got that proper kind of ratchet up thing. And on the other side, you've got a, that mechanism to clamp it shut. So we're going to have one of those across the foot with um, something foamed out but rigid on there and one further up and then a velcro strap at the top. So we better get modifying. Just wanted to show you some more detail of the sole of these. So there's actually um, a hinge in here, it's actually a door hinge to allow this piece to bend. And I've got um, the sole from a pair of Wellington boots bolted to the bottom. So this plastic is HDPE, which is what plastic chopping boards are made of, so it's fairly tough stuff. Everything's held together with machine screws, um, which are basically bolts screwed straight in there, which hold extremely well. So the original straps were held on with these little things, um, with uh, pop rivets. But one of them, in fact, has come off the other boot. They're not very good. And I think they need to be down at a lower angle, so somehow I need to try and attach these um, around there or further forward. So need to experiment, possibly drill some extra holes to mount them. So that feels um, all right, it's definitely got my foot tight enough to hold it. Um, I've taken these pieces off, which were on the front here. Obviously they were hinged, so they open. And I've just got the straps on my leg. Um, I'm actually gonna try and get hold of some sort of shin pad, possibly a football shin pad, um, to fit on the front there. I also need a strap lower down to hold this right into my ankle. Um, with these removed, um, obviously there's nothing to fit the front onto anymore, but it wasn't very good anyway because they were quite wobbly and the sides didn't therefore align properly. So in fact what I'm going to do in the end is replace that with some 3D printed clips that actually hold the two shells together uh, face to face so they align correctly. So 
and let's get on and try and strap in the shins. So I've bought some standard football shin pads, which obviously are rigid on the outside, padded on the inside and have this uh, thing that grips your foot. So the plan is just to wear those and then I can strap the boot around, I've got some more Velcro straps, to the two metal parts at the side. Um, and I can brace the straps on across this rigid thing which spreads the load down the front of the shin um, and having tried that that's actually extremely firm and extremely comfortable. So the, the next challenge is trying to fit on the front shell um, which is a bit of a challenging shape due to the cutout here um, and the similar shape on the other side it makes it actually quite difficult to have a means for this to sort of um, align properly so you know it'd be ideal if it could drop in from above but that's going to be quite challenging to get it to be tight so the only real way it can fit is if it plugs in directly um, but then we've obviously got a slight challenge of what actually holds it there so I need to have a think, with, a think about that and a bit of a play around with some parts and we'll see if I can come up with some sort of mechanism it's either that or it has the hinge maybe on one side So what I've come up with are these um, hooks, which are 3D printed. So it's basically a hook that goes into a hook receptacle, if you like. So the plan is they should slide in like this. So I described the problem with the front of the boot contour. Um, so the, this is basically the fix, so I can start some distance away and then the front can slide down. Um, obviously I'll slide out again, but if I can hold the front of the boot down, it won't slide away until it lifts so basically the plan would be to bungee the front of the boot on and have the front attached to the back with these hooks so I've got four of them two for each side so in fact I've already done the front uh, the front of the right boot which is hooked on with those hooks there they are and you can don't know if you can just see the uh, the four hooks they go into each side and what I've actually done is shaped these hooks by heating them and bending them so I've actually bent the front piece round to match the contour of the boot so I've just used a hot air gun to melt the plastic and bend it just to set those in the right position so that they uh, match all the funny contours that we've got along these seam lines so let me do the other one then we'll add some bungees um, and then we should be just about done So I've hooked the front of these on with bungees. There's a bungee cord that hooks to a hook in the front of the boot there. So we've got just a hook in the front that the bungee hooks over and the bungees are attached to each side of the metal frame. So there's a few things to finish off there. Um, obviously the heel of the boot has got no cover on it, so that needs to be made, which will probably be made of foam PVC board. It also lies a bit some details through that show underneath, um, some bits of metal and so on. And obviously the front of these should be painted silver, as some people have pointed out, which I haven't done yet, mainly because they're not finished. So, um, subscribe to my channel and check out my future videos for updates. Next time I'm going to be working on the thighs. You should also like my Facebook page for sneak peeks of other projects.